So far, it seems to be a seamless operation. Coming down on the blue wire. Amazingly, everything's going according to plan. The supply vessel is backing into position for the swap, and the crane is getting ready to drag the thruster out from under the balder. So we've got a smaller diameter cable that's just hanging off the side here. That's actually connected to the thruster underneath. Now they're bringing the main hook back in, 600 ton capacity hook. They're gonna hook up to that cable, and then they'll have control over the thruster. They'll be ready to drag it out of the water. All right, so imagine this thruster as a giant puppet on a string. You'd need to be a certified puppet master to move this thing from standing up to lying down without crossing any of the lines. Do we need to check the socks and lie if it's slack or is there still enough load on it? There's still tension on it? Okay. Usually the divers have a long wait, plenty of time to relax during this part of the swap. But not tonight. The captain suddenly orders divers into the water. There's a storm on the way with high winds, rain squalls, and crazy sea conditions. So we need to move fast. It's a bit of a last minute twist. Normally the divers would wait until the thruster's totally out of the water before they go in to clean out the inside cavity where it used to be. But because of the time crunch and the impending storm, they're sending in divers now with the thruster only halfway out. And hopefully they'll keep moving the thruster down as the divers clean the hole simultaneously. We've just gotten word and everybody's rushing to get in the water. Hey, move it around. Huh? All right, it's go time. It's pitch black down there with a kicking current and we now have a rising swell. And I'm not the world's most experienced night diver. Uh, divers in, rock and roll. So I thought diving in these conditions in the day was crazy, but at night, this is an entirely different world. Super intense, rigging lines appear out of nowhere, and the thruster itself, which was a huge point of reference for us yesterday, is gone. where the thruster used to be. Any debris caught inside here when the new thruster goes in could damage its seals and flood the thruster room. This housing has to be cleaned so nothing gets snagged inside when the new thruster is put into place. But before we get a chance to finish the job, the captain makes another sudden call. Divers come back for the support vessel. Divers come back for the divers support vessel. He orders all of us divers out of the water. They have to get the supply vessel into position now, and its powerful props could cut a diver to pieces. There's no time to lose, but this is also no time to lose your head. Stress causes you to breathe more rapidly, and 60 feet down in the dark is the last place you want to run out of air. Thank <laughs> you. 